Goku Tards, get the hell out. This video is about Vegeta. Welcome to my second ever tier list video. And instead of Goku's transformations, we're gonna rank Vegeta's transformations today. Of course, again, by looks. We're not doing strength. That's a separate topic. Just by the drip. You know, if you don't like that topic, then you can get out. Oh, yo, I'm kind of mean today, bro. Is it these glasses? No, nah, but if those type of things actually offend you, <laughs> I don't know how. Anyways, I know there's forms in the manga or later forms that I don't know about because I'm still watching the show. Yes, I am late, but at the same time, there's new people to anime, so I'm late. It's fine. I'll update my list if I see new forms, but this is what we got so far. Don't ask why there's many base Vegetas. I separated them because they look so much different. I legit count these as forms. Like, his hair is different here. Also, we got the GT, and then we got the apes as well, and then, yeah, that's what we're gonna rank. Let's start off with the oldest Vegeta. I don't know what happened to him. I guess they had different, like, uh, ideas about his hair. But this Vegeta right here with the scouter and weird, like, reddish hair. I don't know. Why is he kind of growing on me, bro? It's kind of sick. It's just so OG. He's gonna be in C tier, though, because there's a lot cooler Vegetas up in here he's gonna be in c tier mainly because green and orange i don't really match those like what is that and that outfit don't get me started on the outfit the original saiyan armor is ugly to me bro i love vegeta when he has a tank top no armor that little vest the alien vest is ugly makes him look like a bug with the shoulders this vegeta is pretty much the same but better coloring so he's gonna be just uh the same tier but better you know c tier he looked meaner back then that's what i like about dragon ball z it's like the the art style was kind of nicer it was more menacing next we got the ape you guys already know how i feel about the apes it's going in D tier. The armor doesn't make it any better. I put the Goku one in D tier as well. You guys can say, oh wait, but I like the ape transformation. It is at the end of the day opinions, but I would never want to see him go into that again. I'd rather just see him keep going into Super Saiyan or something cooler. Plus, the apes are always getting like their ass whooped. Next is another ape. I think this one's from GT. I haven't seen it. You know what? I'll put this one in C. This one's kind of cool, actually. This one's just creative. It has like blonde hair and then different outfit. It's better than the original ape. This is nice. Alright, next up is this robotic Vegeta. I think his name is Baby Vegeta, also from GT. I have haven't seen him well i have but i just i don't know his lore and there's two different ones of him i don't know which one's which but they're both from gt i'm pretty sure this one looks kind of mean you know it's giving me like a terminator vibe it's not it's not too bad uh crb uh, I need to see his all outfit actually. Well, let me see how he looks. Oh, you know what? Actually, yo, okay, he'll be in B. He'll be in B. That's pretty good. That's that's nice drip. This one though, this one is like it's not as cool. They started kind of uh doing too much. This will be in C tier. I'm not really a fan of that one. I don't know which one's stronger or which one's first, but this one is definitely the cooler version of that one. Like I don't, I didn't watch GT. I might check it out. But this outfit was actually underrated. I did not expect him to look like that. I like the pants and the tank top, and then he has white hair, which is unique for Vegeta. Not bad, not bad. B. B is like good. This one's like awesome. This one's like like godly. This bulky ass Super Saiyan. What was it called? Super Vegeta, right? It's like he went. He tried to get Super Saiyan 2, but instead he got this weird form against Cell, and it kind of slowed him down. And not a fan. It looks kind of like awkward. It's big and like you know what? I changed my mind about this one. I kind of like this one. It'll be in B. This one's gonna have to go in B. It was it was all right, but um, comparing it to his other forms, it doesn't look as nice. Also, that vest, not a big fan. Now moving on to the normal base Vegeta, like kind of like later on. Dragon Ball Z, you know what I mean? This one was pretty sick. This one is A tier. I really like this one. It's simple drip. He got the, the normal outfit. He got the tank top, the blue tank top. Simple Vegeta. His hair carries. I love that hairline. I don't know why people make fun of it. That's a sick ass hairline. I mean, that just applies to all Vegetas. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I have not seen this one in the show. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's in GT as well. Now, for Super Saiyan 4, he got like those jean pants. It kind of reminds me of like a uh, hard metal rock star looking outfit. It's like a fur, like werewolf. You guys might like the look, but I'm not too much of a fan of it. I'm gonna put it around here. Surprisingly, I like this one more, even though I've never seen it in the show. Or like ever. I've never seen his full outfit. I, that's the first time I've seen this Vegeta. I kind of really like it. It's growing up. It's never gonna top it for me. Super Saiyan 4 will never be above Super Saiyan. Now, Super Saiyan the original. Ooh, that is S tier. He is too crispy with it. Like, look at this hat. You think I'm not gonna put that shit in S tier? Gold Vegeta always wins. Well, not not really in the show. He gets shat on a lot. But as drip and look, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Golden Vegeta is always sick. The gold hair is never gonna get old. You know what's even better? Gold hair with lightning. Super Saiyan 2 is also S tier up in here. I do have Majin Vegeta. I separated, but usually every time I saw Vegeta in Super Saiyan 2 is when he was Majin. I'm pretty sure. Well, at least the majority of the time. But these are both in S tier for sure. We got Super Saiyan Blue. But again, I talked about the blue. I did put an S tier for Goku as the gold accent. I'm kind of gonna put the blue a bit down down to a you know what i mean it's well they're looking the exact same direction blue sick it's a it's really good but i don't think it's better than the original super saiyan of course with the blue lining around with the looks i think the aura that goes around them when they transform matters too the dark bluish lightning will always look cooler than super saiyan blue for me now super saiyan god you guys know how i feel about red this is gonna go right here in s tier actually is it above super saiyan 2 
I'm not gonna put it above Super Saiyan 2, but I'm gonna put it above Super Saiyan. You cannot tell me Vegeta doesn't look sick in red. Bro, red's his color. We need to see more Super Saiyan God Vegeta. It fits him better than Goku. Plus the fiery aura is like, oh, it's so sick. I love it. It's rare. It just feels rare. It feels like a gem. Definitely S tier. And then last but not least, Majin Vegeta. Where am I gonna put my man Majin Vegeta? He is top number one Vegeta of all time. Majin Vegeta is just, you know what? I don't even gotta describe it. Let me just show you why I put him as a top drip. P.S. Vegeta. Look at this drip. Look at this drip. And that is all for my tier list of Vegeta's drip and like looks. All of his forms, all of his different styles. Not all actually, he definitely had different outfits and stuff. But I chose these ones. Let me know if I missed any besides like not spoiling me because I know he gets new forms in the manga. I think I got like the basis of like Vegeta's from Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball Super and GT. This seems like a solid tier list to me. I don't see how you can disagree with this. Vegeta is one sick ass character though. Definitely one of the best side characters. For this, you can technically take this out because Majin Vegeta is literally technically in Super Saiyan 2, you know what I mean? So it'll look something like this i hope you guys enjoyed this tier list video let me know what other characters i should do or any other video ideas in the comments i have fun making these so if you guys enjoy it, it's even better thank you guys for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video